Have you seen this new trend on TikTok? Users are uploading pictures of AI generated babies. Looks a lot like this. It's from a filter from an app called Remini. It's basically taking your selfie and creates what, there's me, your future baby could look like. But the app also generates different looks of you as well. It's getting a lot of popularity on social for creating also AI filtered corporate headshots from clothes to hairstyles, even a person's weight. So the app transforms you basically your overall appearance to what the AI filter thinks is a more perfect to you. I don't know if that looks like me, but while the app is meant for fun, using it could actually pose a risk to teens and young adults, especially those who could struggle with body positivity and mental health issues. So joining us right now to talk about how to navigate these viral app trends with your kids, Cal State East Bay Communications Professor Grant Kean. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I think this is important to talk about because having social and that access, you know, teens, really could kind of take this and I'm not sure how they would interpret it, but I would hope they would look at this as just for fun. I guess the concerns are, could this really hurt their self-esteem using apps like this that really transform their physical appearance? Mm -hmm. This is a, an important question that comes around um, quite frequently and it is um, the latest, really the latest incarnation of this um, question that uh, begins with the, the possibility of altering our photos and always wanting to put our best look forward. So this is what the uh, app takes advantage of, obviously. And um, what it, we found is it in itself doesn't necessarily cause self-esteem issues, but it certainly um, takes advantage of those kinds of self-esteem questions that people may have. And of course, teens are already going through a, a period in their life where they're questioning um, their own value and worth. So um, these, these kinds of apps, these kinds of trends tend to uh, play off of that and build up the importance of the aesthetic rather than um, the character of a person as I think we are all aware of the danger in this case. Yeah, and that is important to note that, you know, your character and who you are is very important to what you put out there and into, you know, the universe and when people talk to you. There's also the issue of privacy, uploading data and information in these apps. How should we be concerned and what should we be looking for? Yeah, we should be concerned. I think it's also important to take a bigger picture view of this and understand that this is uh, part of a broader trend. We've seen controversies with Facebook and with TikTok and other um, social media apps that are basically data scraping. And uh, there's there's two sides to this. One is that you want to be protective of your own personal data. And I think that's part of the media literacy side that we can learn about, but also that the AI um, engines that are being used are also based on scraping data from available information. So we're comparing ourselves to something that's already out there and a, a kind of, um, I guess, amalgamation or a, a, um, a combination of all of the traits and ideas and thoughts that are most popular, not necessarily the best. There's still a lot that needs to, I think, be looked into when it comes to these apps, when you put your information on there and just out for everyone to sort of listen to and look at and get more stuff. So really appreciate you being on the show and giving us this information. I know this is probably, I'm sure you agree, an important conversation to have with your kids. Oh, very important. Very important. Media literacy is really the best approach to um, helping to navigate your kids through this and I hope that people will embrace that understanding and, and learn about it. It's here. So yeah. let's learn about it. Let's make it something that we can be happy about rather than um, be afraid of. Absolutely. I agree. Thank you so much for spending time with us this, this morning. Cal State East Bay Communications Professor Grant Key.